Hello Mario, here is the question for which you wanted the answer. Question number 8, page 309. A group of students have volunteered for the student council car wash. Janet can wash a car in m minutes, Roderich can wash a car in m minus 5 minutes, while Nick needs the same amount of time as Janet. If they work together, they can wash a car in about 3.23 minutes. How long does Janet take to wash a car? Now these are work done questions and in which you should be always equating the rates. When we say that Janet can wash a car in m minutes, then we need to find how much work can Janet do in one minute. So, so what we have here is that Janet can wash the car in m minutes, Roderich can do the same job in m minus 5 minutes and Nick can do it in m minutes. What do we need to find here is what is the rate of their doing work? That is in one minute how much job is done? In one minute Janet can do 1 over m, Roderich can do 1 over m minus 5 and Nick can do 1 over m amount of job. Now as given if they work together they can wash a car in about 3.23 minutes. That means if you add them up, they will take to wash a car about 3.23 minutes. So in one minute, how much of this job will be done? This will be 1 over 3.23. That is how you get your equation. Equating the rates, you get the equation. Okay. Now we can take common denominator and solve for the single variable m right so if i take common denominator here i get m times m minus 5 so it gets m minus 5 plus we need to multiply this by m and this by also m minus 5 equals to 1 over 3.23 now you can cross multiply. Let's simplify this also. We got m plus m plus m that is 2m minus 5 minus 5 is minus 10. So this gets multiplied by 3.23 and 1 gets multiplied by m times m minus 1. I can write this as m square minus 5m. Now you can bring all the terms together and solve for m right so we will do this on the right side of this page so we have m square minus 5m here we get 2m times 3.23 if I multiply by 2 I get 6.46 and I bring it on the right side minus so it is minus 6.46 Sorry, this is m plus m plus m, which is 3m, okay? So I have to multiply by 3. So if I multiply by 3, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9. So I get 9.69m. And multiplying by 10, bringing it to the right, this will become plus, right? So it becomes plus 32.3. And all this is equal to zero. So that is the quadratic equation for which we need a solution, right? Now, in this equation, let's combine these like terms also. Then we'll find the solution. m square minus 5 minus 9. That gives me minus 14.69m plus 32.3 equals to 0. Now we can solve this quadratic equation m equals to minus b which is minus of minus 14.69 plus or minus square root of square of this term minus 14.69 square minus 4ac so 4 times a is 1 32.3 times 4 square root 
divided by 2 times a which is 2 times 1. So we can use calculator and calculate this value. Let me first write 14.69 plus minus. We'll calculate this square root value first. So we get here within square root we have 14.69 square minus 32.3 times 4 that gives us 9.305 so I, let me write 9.3 okay we can write round it to 1 divided by 2 so there are two possible answers if I take 14.69 minus 9 I'll get 5 divided by 2 which is two and a half minutes which is lesser than that so that is not possible so we'll add them and see what do we get so let me add 14.69 and then divide by 2 so that gives 11.9 approximately it gives me 12 so it is 11.9 which I'm rounding to 12 minutes approximately right so M is 12 minutes for us. So that means Janet takes 12 minutes to wash the car. So our answer is Janet takes 12 minutes to wash a car alone. So that is how we can solve these kinds of questions. I hope you understand and appreciate the strategy. In any question which is work done type, find their rates and equate the rates to find the answer, right? Have a good look at it. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.